Hey everyone, it's Toby here and I'm going to show you how to get this makeup look for summer with fake freckles. So stay watching to see what products I use. And today I'm going to create a summer makeup look and we're going to include fake freckles. So freckles are such a wonderful thing that come from a little bit of sun in summertime. But if you're stuck inside or you're someone who doesn't want to expose yourself to sun, you can create fake freckles using this gorgeous My Henna freckle kit. So first things first, we're going to get started and we're actually going to do the freckles and then we're going to leave them and then we're going to wash the henna off and then we're going to create the look afterwards and you're going to see how we can do that. So first of all, you get your cone and this actually has the product in it and there's a little needle in it so you take that off and if you want to have a little practice before you start you can do it on the back of your hand and you just really carefully squeeze it out and you can see it will make tiny little dots so you want to make sure they're not too big and I would have a really good practice before applying the product to your face because it does take a little bit of precision you can see there that's just a little bit of practice but first things first we actually have to cleanse the skin because you can't have any product on the skin before you start so I'm actually going to get a cotton wipe I'm going to use my cellar water I'm just going to take I've just got a little bit of moisturizer on So I'm just cleansing this area because this is where I'm going to put the product. And I'm just going to start. So you want to put the freckles where they would naturally. So I already have a couple of freckles. And I just like them across this main area. If you are a little bit more freckly, you might want to put them on your forehead. But I personally love freckles just across the bridge of the nose. And so you just squeeze the cone as you are applying the henna freckles. And this My Henna Kit is really cute. You know, it actually comes in this little box. You get this really cute illustrated instruction manual and then you also get some coconut oil so we will use this later to take off the henna so the instructions are really easy you can actually put this in the freezer once you're finished for further use and when it comes time to redo your freckles, they should last around a week. You simply just get it out of the freezer, let it defrost, get the condensation off, and then you can reuse the product. So I'm just doing really small little freckles. And then the other thing is you can, it says here, avoid washing your face for four hours. Um, and if you do make a mistake, you can just get a little paper towel and rub it off. It's nice to have different sizes as well, because obviously freckles, some are lighter than others. There we go. So we are just going to leave that on. Some other pro tips, I'm just going to read them to you. Um, the longer you leave the henna paste on, you can leave this on for up to 12 hours, the darker the stain will be and the longer it will last. And then once we remove it, you will see the orange spots and then the colour will continue to darken for 24 hours. So you can see there, I mean, let's just do a couple more. This is really fun. So 
So we're gonna leave that now and then we're gonna come back and take it off with the coconut oil. So now it's time to take the henna off and I'm gonna use the uh, coconut oil that was provided in the kit. I'm actually gonna rub it on a little reusable cotton pad, make it a little bit easier. I'm just taking, I suppose the excess of the henna off and then we'll be left with that really faint freckle. Ooh, little fake freckles. So the first step, we are going to just give the lashes a little bit of extra curl, make the eyes look really awake. Just using the Tweezer Man Lash Curler. And we're gonna keep the skin really fresh because this is a summery feel and we're not gonna pop on too much foundation over the freckles. So I've just used Augustina's Butter, the cream, And now that we're hydrated, we're just going to put on this SOS Clarins Primer. And this has a beautiful golden glow. So you'll see how gorgeous it makes the skin. So in summer, I don't like to wear a whole lot of base. I like my skin to really show through. So we are just going to use NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer just here under the eyes, around the nose, on any blemishes. Just cover those up. I'm just going to tap it in with my finger. So I'm using the shade Custard. And you'll see by using the fingers, it just blends in and looks like skin. So because we've got that beautiful primer underneath, you still get that real glowy finish. Now, we need to bring some warmth back into the skin. So I'm gonna use this Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel, which is a cream bronzer. And we are going to use this MAC Duo Fiber Brush. And a lot of people ask me about this product and how to use it. So because it's a cream product, I do like to use this Duo Fiber Brush to really blend it in. nice summer glow happening. Cream bronzers are great in summer because they're just really fresh looking. I prefer them to a powder bronzer in summer months but if you are someone who gets really oily skin you just need to make sure you've probably got a powder bronzer on top. So nice. All right, now the other thing I like to do in summer is wear a really peachy blush. So this is California by Benefit. This will give you that sun-kissed look, which will really look great with the freckles. Okay, so now we're just going to put a little bit of product into the brows and I'm going to use precisely my brow by Benefit. Just a nice brow pencil. In summer, I like to keep my routine really simple. 
and just make sure you brush through the brow keep it look natural and then on the eyes we're going to keep it really really easy we're going to use laguna bronzer by nars I like to just do a wash of this on the eyes. I bring it up quite high. I do have a lot of space, so I can. And it does just help to make blue eyes really pop. So you can really use any bronzer as an eyeshadow in summer. Just also one less you need to worry about. For mascara, I'm going to use this MAC In Extreme Dimension 3D Mascara. This is great for extra volume go and then we are going to use a little bit of this Clarins Lip Comfort Oil for hydration of the lips. This is in the shade, uh, what is the shade? It's called Mint Glam. Doesn't come out green, by the way. And then I am going to use a tiniest bit of powder. I don't like to use a lot of powder in my summer looks, but I'm going to use Huda Beauty. This is called Pound Cake. It's an easy bake powder. I'm just going to use a small brush because I'm only going to focus on this T-zone. A little bit under the eyes. And you also don't want to use powder to cover those freckles that you've created. So my look should be really easy and fuss free. And then you want a little bit of highlighter on the tops of the cheekbones. So the best thing about the primer that I used before is that you can double it up as a highlighter. So I'm gonna grab it again. And I really like products that are multifunctional. And that's so nice, it's like a nice rose. Rosy golden glow. A little bit down the center of the nose. And you're going to get a little bit of clear brow gel. This is by NARS. And to finish, we're going to just tap on a little bit of lip. This is Laura Mercier lipstick and the shade is A La Rose. And it's super pretty. Just use the smallest amount to enhance the lip color. So this is my summer makeup look with fake freckles. You can do this in under 10 minutes. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below. Follow me along on Toby Makeup at Instagram and I'll see you next time.